Hi, my name is Dylan Stinson, and I'm a product manager for Tektronix. Today, we're going to be taking a gain measurement of an amplifier using the built-in bias T of the TTR500 VNA. Here you can see I have an amplifier connected to the TTR500, and I'm using a power supply to source the bias T. Let's take a look at a gain measurement on VectorView PC. In VectorView PC, preset the analyzer to a predefined state by clicking Preset and OK. Prior to making a measurement, calibration settings and measurement values must be applied to the VNA. Particularly important with amplifiers where gain can play a role, we have to be careful in keeping the applied output power level of the VNA low enough so as to not cause damage to its input receivers. In this video, all of these settings were already made, along with the calibration. To recall a saved calibration state, go to save slash recall and recall the file of interest. After the calibration procedures have been completed, we can now begin feeding power to the bias T from the power supply. To activate the bias T, go to More Bias T. A pop-up window indicates that we should not be using the bias T anytime we are calibrating the VNA or measuring devices that do not require a bias T. Bias currents can damage calibration standards and sensitive devices in these situations. Check the box and click OK. Here we have the S21 gain measurement of the amplifier. To apply markers to the trace, under markers and analysis, analysis click setup, marker one, and to locate the maximum gain of the gain curve, click search and max. Let's do it again with a second marker. Hit, click setup and marker two. And now let's find the minimum gain. Click search and min. We can now clearly see that the amplifier is within its specifications within 200 megahertz and six gigahertz. You can also click and drag each of the markers to display different measurements along the gain curve. The TDR500's built-in bias T simplifies the connection setup by reducing the need for external biasing circuitry. So now you can see how easy it is to make a basic gain measurement on an amplifier using the built-in bias T. If you want any more information on the TTR500, contact us at tech.com.